Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to the last video of this, what has been a fantastic uh, kit guitar build. Um, it has, it's, it's been mental. Uh, you saw me build the thing in four hours and 15 minutes, I think it was. Uh, I've been watching the series along with you. It's now several months old, it must be. I'm, I'm in the new studio, the backdrop's slightly different. Uh, we've moved around a little bit and we've had time to play. Uh, so, the instrument itself. I haven't really done very much to it at all. I've not touched the finish and the neck is, you know, as protected and, and looking really good. The fretboard's not particularly dirty. Uh, I had put two keys on here, which was unnecessary in the end. It, it raised the action way too high and uh, the neck was perfectly flat and it's now got a good um, amount of relief in it. So, you know, if I had a truss rod in there, I might, I might flatten it a quarter of a turn. So that's how close it is. Um, the only thing I'm not happy with is that I went two sizes too big with my zero fret and the action is a little bit higher than I would like up here. But in the end, I'm a perfectionist luthier building... Hell, I built guitars for Robert Fripp, uh, who is, you know, if his guitars are not absolutely perfect, his, the way he plays and this, his style requires perfection. So, yeah, building this... Well, you've seen the videos, you've seen the series. I have rarely ever had so much fun um, <laughs> yes, and then he said with my clothes on, and now I'm saying with my clothes on. I, this is awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, and there is one other thing. The you'll notice when I made the neck, I cut away some some of the neck blank so that there was space between the top and the top of the neck blank. And I obviously missed just a little bit on this edge. Uh, the box hasn't quite closed, so at some point I'm going to do that, and I think that it will sound even louder and better then. But basically, I'm leaving this as is. Uh, you'll see the stick has been ripped off by my uh, year and a half old son, my my six year old, or is he five? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> he loves this absolutely. This is this is now at home, and this is. I pick this thing up and play it at every opportunity, and he picks it up and plays it at every opportunity. And uh, my daughter wants one of her own. And uh, so that is actually the big news of this video. I'm going to be doing another one uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, I haven't really changed the tuning uh, at all. This, this, uh, uh, there are various yeah that's close enough there are various tunings available to us uh, and I mean frankly this is, this is a cigar box build you can do anything that you want uh, we've just gone for a slightly out of tune G G, D and G now hear the difference between when I'm resting my hand on the instrument and when I take it take it away. So I'm probably going to have to put a strap on here as well at some point. I love, I love, yeah, the, the drones and all that sort of stuff, it just... Adds so much to what you can do with an instrument. It's 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 fun to play, and that's the thing. Um, it's not a it's not a guitar. It's not it's not a guitar. It's it's a cigar box guitar. And uh, if you make this well, you can have something that is fun to play and musical. And I am not a musician. 
Of course, the second I start filming this, the uh, factory floor just kicks up and everybody decides to do noisy work, so I apologise for that. Um, So uh, anyway, this is what she sounds like with uh, good intonation. The action's a little bit high, but you can play anything you want. And uh, and uh, <laughs> it's it's a beautiful instrument. I'm I'm really really happy with it. Um, I am going to be doing another one for my daughter and. Uh, I'm going to, well, no, I lie. I am going to be doing many, many, many more cigar box instruments. It is relaxing, it is fun. It's like a hobby within my job, which is everybody else's hobby. I have an awesome life, frankly. Uh, the next one is going to have a piezo pickup. I am thinking about, um, oh, we've got those fantastic jam jar amps. Check them out. Um, I, I, I've got one and uh, I, I desperately need to make one of these with a, with a piezo pickup or even a pickup pickup to uh, plug into that because that's just a match made in heaven. Um, we started doing the kits like I decided at the end of the last video. Uh, we've got, well actually, here is the story. This box was given to me, as I said in the, uh, in the, in the well, right at the beginning, this box was given to me by a student who'd come down for uh, a day's course in uh, fretwork because he's been building uh, CBGs, and uh, but he wasn't happy with the fretwork, and <laughs> rightly so. Um, so he spent half a day and uh, ended up coming down and giving me a box, and this whole thing started. That gentleman is Daniel who now is my personal apprentice, and he started work yesterday. Um, and he's a cigar box builder. This is what he does, and what he's been doing uh, for a couple of years now. And uh, he is now part of Crimson. So we are, with his help um, and his experience in, in these instruments, um, properly going into it. So there's neck blanks and freight ball blanks and some boxes and things up on the site now, and there's going to be much, much more. Uh, we're starting a sort of side brand, uh, Litter Bug by Crimson. And uh, Litter Bug Guitars by Crimson, I love that name. Uh, any way in which I can help facilitate the building of these instruments, uh, the, the better. I'm, I'm, it's, it's awesome. Um, so anyway, check that out and check out the other videos and that. And keep your eyes peeled because I will be filming more of these. Uh, I, I had a total blast, and uh, I'm, it seems that you guys enjoyed it as well. So thank you very much for watching. Have an excellent day, and uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>